What's up, guys? So, uh, still in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, I just wanted to show these guys the transportation system out here. Uh, Taiwan has one of the best around. Uh, what I use is the card. Uh, see right here. So you can pick this up at like any station. Um, a lot of benefits to using this card. If you can stay long term, definitely recommend the card. If not, you can just pay um, at every station. Um, it's super cheap to get around. Usually like 50 cents or something, just about any way you want to get to. Um, yeah, so with this card, uh, you get like 10, 20% off, uh, and you could use it at like 7-Elevens, a few different convenience stores, and it's good for the trains, uh, metro, bus, and bikes if you register it. I was really lucky, and a friend of mine gave this to me, it was already registered, so it was all set. So I'm not really sure how that goes, but it's supposed to be pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use it. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, charge the card up here in 7-Eleven. There we go. All right, so this just goes right on here. Hey, 500, please. Yep. Uh, there we go. All set. Thank you. Thank you. And it's that easy, guys. So all you gotta do is uh, just go into 7-Eleven, give them the card, give them some cash, and they charge it up for you. You're good to go. And uh, I'll show you at the uh, the machines uh, when you go ahead and drop it in. It'll uh, as soon as you use it, I mean, it'll uh, discount it right there, and it'll show you. So pretty cool. So there's a metro station. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the station out. All right. So I'm actually inside one of the stations. Uh, so you can see how easy it is to use, uh, especially here in Taipei. So you just look at the map. So this is the metro map. Pretty similar to like any place else. Uh, similar to the ones in Europe and the States. So right now I'm here at the yellow one, Dogman. And uh, so yeah, you just pick whichever one you're gonna go to. So I don't know, say you wanna go to, to this one here. So you know you gotta go over, uh, get off, switch over to the green line. And then there you go, you get off at that one. And then you just watch the uh, the buses. Uh, they'll actually tell you right inside. I'll show you that too. So if you didn't have the card, you just go ahead. Uh, you just come here, tap English. And then just tap the screen. And uh, yeah, you just single journey. And you just type in whatever it is. So we use this example here so you can see the bottom saying 20. So that's what you have to pay 20. So it's like 60 cents. So you just click 20, pop the chain in, change in there, and you're good to go. Yeah. Okay, so when you pay with cash, I should give you a coin. So you can put the coin or you could just put your card. And see the difference? And then uh, when I exit, I'll show you. I'll actually. Uh, show me uh, what it what it costs. So in this case, I think it's gonna be like 20. So just deduct 20 uh, when I use it, when I exit. Uh, and at most stations in the uh, in Taipei, at least, they'll have uh, a board with the, uh, the metro map and they'll have a local map showing where you are. There's usually multiple exits. So depending on where you're going, you can take exit one, two, three. And as soon as you, as soon as you get out, you go upstairs to the exit and I'll, I'll point you to uh, whichever one you wanna go to. It just makes things a lot easier. And the metro is super good. I mean, they're right on time, super clean, super organized. And I can just double check while I'm here. So I'll show you where I'm at, Dogman, and where I want to go. Alright guys, so I'm going from the uh, MRT to the TRA, basically the train system. We're going to a new city today. So yeah, all you gotta do is just follow the arrow. They make it really easy, really simple. 
So now I'm exiting, so I go ahead and just use my card. I'll show the difference, 16 and 678 is what I have left. Hey, so I'm over here at the bike rentals. So uh, now with that card that I showed you earlier, you could actually rent one of these bikes. Um, so all you gotta do is you just go right up to this. Hold on, let me show you, let me flip to the other side. So all you gotta do is just come up to this little, I don't even know what you call it, I guess the station where the bike's locked in, so you can see it's locked in right there. So you just grab your card, just put it right up to the sensor, and it just clicks right off. And then it tells you how much you have, and it'll show you the difference after. So I'm just gonna kick my, kick the bike, gonna kick the bike on the kickstand, and then, uh, and then that's it, you're good to go. Uh, it costs about 10, 10 Taiwanese dollars, or about 30 cents, 35 cents, for, um, every half hour and that's how it goes uh if you don't have a card uh you're definitely gonna have to get a card from one of the stations i think you might even be able to get it from um 7-eleven and what you have to do is you have to come and register it and this is one of the machines this you see this kiosk just about every you bike uh, station and you just put your card to it and you gotta just follow the instructions i'm not exactly sure what they actually ask for i'm guessing probably credit card information and you know your passport or id or whatever and the bike comes with uh, a lock, so you can see this uh, this cable here, just connected to the uh, this little basket, which is it looks kind of you know kind of fruity driving this thing around, but it's actually pretty helpful. Just let that truck go by. It's actually pretty helpful, you know, you can do some shopping or something, buy something. But anyways, all right, this cable's gonna go through. Sorry guys, trying to do this with one hand uh, and film. All right, so cable just goes right into this little piece here. So you can actually wrap this around a tree or something, a pole, whatever. I just do it right around the front. Most people don't even lock it. I'm just, uh, it must be because, you know, being from New England or whatever, but I always lock it up. Uh, and then right here, there's a little key. You just undo this. And uh, there you go, it's locked. And nobody can take it. Uh, then when you get out of the store or wherever, you just go ahead and stick the lock right back in. I mean, the key right back in. Just unlock it, hit this little button, and, uh, and there you go, you're all set, it's unlocked. So, so there you go, and that's how, uh, yeah, so that's the public transportation here in uh, Taiwan. So with that card, again, you could, do, uh, you could do buses, you could do trains, you could do metro, bikes, uh, you go shopping with it. Really, really cool, really good thing to get is uh, that card, which I said, I think you have to pay like 100, which is like three, three and change to actually get it. And you might even get your money back when you turn it back in. Um, <clears throat> then you have to register it for the bike, just so I guess, you know, you don't steal the bike or whatever. Uh, but like you save like 10 to 20%, um, everywhere you go um, and it's just super convenient uh, even if you don't have the card and you just want to use cash you're only coming down for a week or for whatever reason you just feel more comfortable using your own cash super easy to use uh, yeah I mean just in super, super cheap super easy uh, I mean everybody's really helpful so if you have any questions so but uh, alright guys I'm taking one of these bikes I'm gonna go for a nice bike ride uh, I'm gonna go downtown just go hang out for a while so I right, hope this was helpful and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.